Pedaling Jaya, Wikipedia article audio. Pedaling Jaya is a major Malaysian city originally developed as a satellite township for Kuala Lumpur. It is located in the Pedaling district of Selangor with an area of approximately 97.2 square kilometers. Pedaling Jaya was granted city status on June 20, 2006. History Pedaling Jaya is surrounded by the Malaysian capital, Kuala Lumpur to the east, Sungai Buloh to the north, the capital of Selangor, Shah Alam to the west and Subang Jaya to the south. The city was developed during British Malaya on a piece of 1,200 acres rubber estate around Old Klang Road to address the overpopulation of the capital Kuala Lumpur in the 1950s. Since 1952, PJ witnessed a dramatic growth in terms of population size and geographical importance. The development of Pedaling Jaya commenced in 1952 with the construction of 800 houses centered on the area known as Old Town today. Climate Lieutenant General Sir Gerald Templer planned for Pedaling Jaya to be a satellite town to prevent people from assisting the communists. The earlier housing areas were fenced off from the surrounding area. The first two main roads built in Pedaling Jaya were simply called Jalan 1 or Road 1 and Jalan 2 or Road 2. Road 1 was later named Jalan Templar while Road 2 was named Jalan Othman after Othman Mohammed, former mentory bazaar of Selangor. Governance Until the end of 1953, the town was administered by the Kuala Lumpur district officer. The Pedaling Jaya Town Authority headed by N.A.J. Kennedy commenced administrating Pedaling Jaya in 1954. On August 24, 1959, in Sikh Abdul Aziz bin Haji Maud Ali became the first Malayan to head the P.J. Authority. Administratively and historically, it was considered part of Kuala Lumpur. However, Pedaling Jaya ceased to be part of Kuala Lumpur when the latter became a federal territory on February 1, 1974. It then became a township in its own right within the state of Selangor. City Sections PJ South, from Section 8 to PJ Old Town, had the first settlements, which were established around 1953. As development progressed, PJ North, on the other side of the Federal Highway was developed. The first shopping complex in Pedaling Jaya was Jaya Shopping Center, located in Section 14, which was built in 1974. Demographics On January 1, 1977, the Pedaling Jaya Town Authority was upgraded to become Pedaling Jaya Municipal Council or Majlis per Bandaran Pedaling Jaya. Pedaling Jaya progressed rapidly due to the massive rural urban migration. As more people from rural areas immigrated, Sungai Way and Subang districts along with areas such as Subang Jaya, Sikh Sion 52 developed in areas under the jurisdiction of the municipality. Landmarks In a boundary realignment exercise in early 1997, parts of Pedaling Jaya including Subang Jaya, USJ, Putra Heights and Bandar Sunway were placed under the jurisdiction of the newly formed Subang Jaya Municipal Council or MPSJ. Pedaling Jaya is the central hub of Klang Valley as it is located in between Kuala Lumpur and surrounding suburbs. Due to the proximity of the city to the capital of Malaysia, Pedaling Jaya had and have been the headquarters of many federal government departments such as Jabatan Pendaftaran Negara, Jabatan Arkib Negara Malaysia and Jabatan Kimia Malaysia. Economy Properties in Pedaling Jaya Transport Education 
Petaling Jaya is one of the wettest cities in Malaysia. It is warm with an average maximum of 30 degrees Celsius and receives heavy rainfall all year round, roughly more than 3,300 mm of average rainfall annually. The city has no particular true dry season, but June and July are the driest months. Mostly each month average rainfall receives more than 200 mm. Thunderstorms and extreme rainstorms are common, and it is one of the highest lightning strike areas in the world. But due to global warming, Petaling Jaya is experiencing severe drought with frequent water rationing among neighborhoods. On June 20, 2006, Petaling Jaya was granted a city status and Dato Ahmed Termiza Pute, a former Yang Dipertua MPPJ, automatically became the first mayor of Petaling Jaya. Petaling Jaya's local council changed its name to Majlis Bandaraya Petaling Jaya or Petaling Jaya City Council following the granting of city status. On August 15, Dato Ahmed Termiza Pute retired from the post of mayor. He was later replaced by Dato H.J. Mohamed Roslan Sakaman. The residents of Petaling Jaya are served by four members of parliament, Daps Tony Pua in P.J. Udara, P.K.R.'s Hiloishian in P.J. Salatan, P.K.R.'s R. Sivaraza in Subang and P.K.R.'s Wang Chen in Kalana Jaya. Petaling Jaya is divided into several sections. Some are subdivided into smaller neighborhoods, for example SS5D. Some sections have their own names, while other sections are grouped together. Besides that, Petaling Jaya also comprises the affluent township of Damansara. Note that SS is not the same as Sikh Sion but as the short acronym for Subang Sungay Way instead. As of 2014, Petaling Jaya claimed 613,977 residents living in the area of 51.4 square kilometers. The actual population by 2015 would have been a little over 550,000 residents without taking into account the total population of the Kuala Lumpur Petaling Jaya conurbation which would have resulted in a total population of 1.5 million. A prominent landmark in PJ is the Kota Daryl Esan Arch which symbolically marks the boundary between Kuala Lumpur and Petaling Jaya. This arch straddled the Federal Highway which was originally the only highway link between Petaling Jaya and Kuala Lumpur. However, many links now exist as alternatives to the congested Federal Highway. Close to the Kalana Jaya Lines Taman Jaya Station are the Petaling Jaya Museum, as well as the Tai Wat Chet Awan Temple. This ornate building is very popular amongst the Buddhist community. A short drive ahead is PJ State, the nickname for the central business district of Petaling Jaya with the landmark Menara MBPJ as a focal point. PJ State is more formally referred to as PJ New Town. Damansara is the main shopping hub of Petaling Jaya with many of the city's shopping malls being located there. Some of the notable shopping malls in the city include the Curve, IKEA, IPC Shopping Center, One Udama, Tropicana City Mall, Empire Damansara, Sunway Pyramid and Paradigm Mall. The 1980s saw the establishment of shopping malls like the Atria in Damansara Jaya and Subang Parade in the nearby suburb or satellite town of Subang Jaya. The Atria provided the opportunity for residents to patronize either the Japanese Kimisawa or the French Printemps department stores, as well as a Burger King restaurant. In 1995, one Udama commenced operations at Bandar Udama. Jaya Jusko, a Japanese department store which had operated since 1984 at Taman Tun Drive Ismail later relocated American Samoa one of the anchor tenants of One Udama. 
Tesco supermarket commenced operations in Muashara Damansara in 2003. This was quickly followed by the Icono Power Center in 2004 and the Curve in 2005. The Icono Power Center houses Southeast Asia's largest IKEA Swedish furniture store. At about the same time, the One Udama New Wing had commenced operations. In 2004, Giant Hypermarket commenced operations in Kalanajaya. This complex houses the Giant Hypermarket and some shops to create a more shopping center style. It is easily accessed off the Damansara Puchong Expressway. Nearby is the S Stuom Mall, which was opened at the end of December 2010, and Paradigm Mall, which opened in mid-2012. Cambridge Analytica has an office in Kota Damansara. Active property developers in Petaling Jaya are PKNS, Sunway BHD, Tropicana BHD, Amcorp, Mayor Singh Group and Qaukland as well as many others. Due to the size of Petaling Jaya Township, properties development in the area also includes small to medium-sized developers such as Sri Aman Development and Nusmetro. Before the rapid development and commercialization of Petaling Jaya, there were only a handful of residential developments which comprises mostly low to medium cost apartments as well as terrace houses. By 2005, luxurious condominiums, semi-detached houses and bungalows are a common sight within the area. These high-end properties are mostly located at Bukit Gassing, Section 16 and 17, SS7 Kalanajaya and more recent ones such as Tropicana, and Aira Damansara. Transportation facilities and infrastructure are well developed in Petaling Jaya. Bus services were initially provided by Sri Jaya between the early 1950s until the early 1990s. Some Sea Park residents may recall the old Sri Jaya Leland Albion buses on the number 241 service struggling to climb the relatively steep Jalan 21-1. The introduction of the Intracota bus system by DRB Hecom saw the replacement of Sri Jaya and the minibuses by the early 1990s. At the same time, some of the pedaling Jaya Kuala Lumpur bus routes were serviced by METRO bus. The introduction of the Putra LRT service in 1998 saw the addition of the Putra Line feeder bus services. The combination of Putra Line and Putra LRT brought a relief to many pedaling Jaya residents especially those who had to rely on public transportation. In 2006 Rapid KL took over the operations of Intracota, Star and Putra LRT. Today, public transportation is provided by Rapid KL in the form of buses as well as the KL Light Rail Transit System, Kalana Jaya Line, which extends slightly into Petaling Jaya. There are five Kalana Jaya Line stations in Petaling Jaya. Petaling Jaya has three access points to the National Highway System, North-South Expressway via Kota Damansara, Damansara and Subang. Internally, highways such as the Damansara Puchong Expressway, Sprint Expressway and the Federal Highway exist. Just recently, the new MRT line, a major infrastructure project undertaken in the Klang Valley, the Sungabulo Kajang Line, the first line in the Klang Valley Mass Rapid Transit Project. Ten of the 31 stations are located within Petaling Jaya. The extension of the Kalana Jaya Line towards Subang Jaya and Putra Heights and the planned Bandar Udama Klang Line also serves to increase public transportation infrastructure in Petaling Jaya. There are more than 25 colleges and universities in Petaling Jaya including International Islamic University Malaysia Centre for Foundation Studies Campus in Section 17, 
Mara University of Technology Campus Branch on Jalen Othman in Section 1, University Tunku Abdul Rahman Pedaling Jaya Campus in Section 13, Tun Abdul Razak University Main Campus in SS6 Kalana Jaya, Stamford College on Jalan Timur and Jalan 223, Food Institute of Malaysia in SS6 Kalana Jaya, Malaysia University of Science and Technology Main Campus in SS7, KDU University College in Damansara Jaya, Kolai Bandar Udama in Bandar Udama, IACT College at Damansara Udama, Brickfields Asia College at Section 14, SEGI University at Kota Damansara, and International University College of Technology Twintech a private college at Bandar Sri Damansara. TCA College is an interdenominational charismatic Bible college. The UITM facility in Section 1 commenced life as the Dewan Lathan Rida in November 1956. It was later renamed the Dewan Latihan Mara. This was a training center under the auspices of Rida or the Rural and Industrial Development Authority. Essentially it was also the inspiration of Dato on Jaffer, the founder and former president of UMNO or the United Malays National Organization. This UITM facility can be regarded as Petaling Jaya's oldest college. Sports There are many primary and secondary schools in Petaling Jaya including Sikola Kabangsan Kampung Tunku. Sikola Kabangsan Kalana Jaya, Sikola Kabangsan Sri Damai, Sikola Kabangsan Kalana Jaya, Sikola Menenga Kabangsan Taman C, SMK Damansara Udama, Bukit Bintang Boys School, SMK Asunta, Sri Aman Girls School, Catholic High School, La Sal PJ, SMK Damansara Jaya. SMK Sultan Abdul Samad, SMK Taman Medan, SMK Taman Pedaling and SMK Kalana Jaya. The oldest school in Pedaling Jaya is likely the Road 10 Primary School in Old Town. The foundation stone of the school was placed by Sultan Hisamuddin Alam Shah in 1952. The German school Kuala Lumpur, a German international school, is in Petaling Jaya. Malaysia's first private nursing college is at Asunta Hospital in Petaling Jaya. The Tun Tan Cheng Lok College of Nursing was founded in 1961. The MRC Kids SS2 is located beside SS2 CIMB Bank, new operate childcare with whole brain enrichment program. Petaling Jaya has a fully equipped, multi-purpose stadium known as Petaling Jaya Stadium. Petaling Jaya Stadium is the home of Petaling Jaya Rangers FC in Malaysia Fam League. It has a capacity of 25,000. The Muslim community can pray at mosques such as those at Jalan Templar, Section 17, Section 14, Section SS1 and Damansara Udama. Masjid Kalana Jaya Putera, which was built in the late 20 hundreds, is located in Kalana Jaya. Masjid Jamek Sultan Abdul Aziz Shah at Jalan Templar is likely the oldest mosque in Petaling Jaya. This mosque was declared open by HRH the Sultan of Selangor on October 23, 1964. Later in 2008, the mosque was modernized and rebuilt. The Roman Catholic Christian community can attend Mass at churches such as St. Francis Xavier's, located on Jalan Gassing, which was established in 1961. Two other Catholic churches are the Church of the Assumption on Jalan Templar as well as St. Ignatius in Taman Myang. The Assumption Church is the oldest. It dates from 1959. The Trinity Methodist Church dates from August 2, 1959 and is at Jalan 537. 
An Anglican as well as a Lutheran church is located at Jalan Udara. Glad Tidings Assembly of God Church is at Jalan Bursata 13 fourths. Several shop house based churches exist across Petaling Jaya. In 2005, the former Ruby Cinema in Sea Park temporarily became the Damansara Udama Methodist Church. Harvest Community Church is located at D136, 8 Avenue Business Center Jalan Sungay Journey 8 1, 46,050, Petaling Jaya. Small shop lot churches can be found all around the city, some of these transform into larger churches, like Grace Assembly PJ. These attract a larger following and can be found in many places around the city. Places of Worship The Tai Chet Awan Temple along Jalan Gassing and at the Chempaka Buddhist Lodge in SS23 Taman C. Chinese temples such as Polum Fat Yun along Jalan Gassing fulfill the needs of the Taoist community. Taoist temples can be found in PJ Old Town and in Section 11. Notable People International Relations Sister Cities The Sri Sitha Vinayagar Temple at Section 4 along Jalan Salangar serves as the main religious facility for peddling Jaya's Hindu community. The main god worshipped here is Ganesh. Vinayaga is a common name for Ganesh. There is a Mariamon temple in Jalan 1747, and the Gita Ashram is a North Indian style Hindu temple dedicated to Krishna. The Gita Ashram can be found in Lorong Uttara B in section 52. There is a Sikh Gadwara located in Lorong Uttara B, beside the Tun Hussein on I Hospital and the Gita Ashram. Petaling Jaya currently has four sister cities. Coordinates, 3 degrees 05 and 101 degrees 39 minutes east slash 3.083 degrees north 101.650 degrees east slash 3.083, 101.650.